Yeah. Uh, yeah, let it be. I will, I will try to <laughs> just see through. And then back. And okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, hello everyone. My name is Varun, and this is Lucas. And another team member of us, she has to leave early. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go into our problem. Problem to deal with the problem which we are trying to solve. So for us, we 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 saw this uh, this problem of Kenya, and and we we are trying to solve the problem of uh, virological strains, which have more likelihood of occurrence in Kenya. So what what we are trying to uh, incorporate in in our situation is uh, how how can how these uh, because the, these are like there are different strains level which are being uh, in 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 each of these virologic. Uh, uh, drug resistance, uh, drug, for the drug resistance, we have these virological strains, which are quite uh, heavily important in each of the tests which people, uh, which, which doctors, uh, doctors take for, for uh, suggesting for a patient if they are having drug resistance or not. And then there are different mutations which is happening at the same time. So our, our, our we are trying to, uh, we, first we will try to go through the the, the, the situation in Stan, uh, from, from the Stanford database, which we have collected the, da uh, the data from the Stanford database, which has all these drug resistance uh, data available there. And we will try to go, just quickly go through the idea of that. And after doing the analysis, we, we will try to explain what, we, what inference or what model we are trying to s use in terms of getting the likelihood of, the f uh, of those, each of those uh, viral logic uh, strains hap happening in, in, in specifically in for Kenya. So, and what, what impact this can have it on, on the people living in Kenya. So this particular solution we are trying to deploy, we, we would like to deploy for, for the specifically for, not just for the doctors, also for the organizations, they can, they can actually come together and once they have this uh, likelihood, for, uh, likelihood of uh, all these strains happening and then they can quickly understand what, what is going on, how these, uh, these different levels of uh, drugs, uh, d this resistance is uh, increasing. And so the data, data set information is, uh, we have like 4,000 plus unique observation for each of those, each of those uh, pa patients. And uh, they have been drug resistant, they have been tested for drug resistant, and they have each of, for oath, each of those observations, we have the mutations which are happening for those, those patients. Uh, and, and what assumptions we started with is like, uh, if, if, uh, if a patient is having a, a resistance towards for, 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 uh, for any of those mutations, if it is greater than any single uh, major or minor mutation, then definitely that patient is going to be drug resistant. And if the patient is tested is not having any of those mutations, any of the major or minor mutation, that that person is not um, uh, having major uh, and not drug resistant. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not drug resistant, yeah. Uh, and this is uh, the population density. So I have taken this uh, from, 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 uh, from Steve, uh, from, uh, from the ResearchGate website. It's, 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 uh, and and this, is, is, this, is the mapping of, uh, this is the mapping of Kenya, giving the uh, lo correct locations of the uh, places where, where, from where we got, got the data from. So if you quickly see that this is the place uh, where the highest density of population are living in the center, in the south, in the north, and we see that we have only data from Nairobi and uh, mostly in, 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 in the south and the north side of the region. So just uh, taking a specific, uh, talking about the specific region, we see that they, we have uh, the viral strain from this data set. We saw that there are 46 patients uh, for NNRTI mutations. So they, these were the mutations happening for those, uh, the, those, that specific region. And this is something which, which we are going to infer on uh, for the whole uh, data set. So this, this, if you see, this is a whole uh, observation data set in which we have collected. And we saw that uh, uh, th these are the different levels of uh, uh, percentage on which, in, which, in which all these mutations are happening. So, uh, and just querying on the network, we see that inhibitors for all these four different types of mutations which is happening, we have these uh, different levels of uh, patients and with who are drug resistance, who are not drug resistance. And if you see distribution of this strain, for each of those 
from this is I'm only talking about the uh, the database which we collected and we scraped through and then just try to collect the to try to make information on it and the Bayesian modeling which we are have tried to implement on it is uh, sorry uh, Uh, so the model which we actually try to infer upon the first posterior of the first baseline which we have got from this 4,000 plus observation is that we turn out that this group is particularly the inhibitor, one of the uh, risk, uh, one of those uh, one of those groups in which the higher likelihood of happening of this uh, on the log odds ratio. So and and plotting it on the distribution plot, we see that these log odds has the highest distribution in 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 in, in in inhibitors as compared to RT and PR, with, although we have more information. Uh, and then, and just to confirm it, that then we also saw that in, in, there were increased cases of I and I resistance. Uh, so the, here I will just finish my talk, and yeah. Thank you so much. Questions from the jury? It, it, no, the boys are here as well. Um, just one quick question. Um, to, so I, I just want to, uh, can you maybe just repeat once more uh, how, uh, or um, let's say, compare your uh, contribution or how you, you see what you did with respect to what was existing before uh, and maybe make a difference between uh, we see some uh, existing uh, uh, research and uh, what you did. So from the existing research after uh, going through a lot of research webs uh, research papers on uh, about these drug resistance people uh, all these uh, doctors are giving away their uh, they, they are talking about their information on this particular sample of people they have tested it and then they are reporting the drug resistance mutation which is happening on those patients so while going through those and then understanding the how they are actually inferring inferring on it because they s take the sample out and then they try to stretch it to a big population so this is uh, but when I try to look up on a lot of googling I did a lot of googling and find out there was no information on actually any baseline of this drug resistance in country. So when I saw this uh, inhibitase specific resistance happening, and I confirmed it with this, uh, just in 2017, this market report that there were 4,000 plus inhibitase related drugs were uh, deployed in the market, then I saw that there is a connection between the specific drugs which are being uh, deployed because of the resistance happening. Maybe I can give some uh, final closing words because this is a very exciting project and uh, Varun is very deep obviously in the matrix as you can see working on a very complex uh, model but what he's basically trying to give is um, help those people who take decisions as to where at what point in time we need what sort of medication to be able to take a better decision um, even if there's not much data available. So this is where he does the Bayesian inference. And that way we hope that um, in the future there is going to be a foregone, obviously, opportunity to costs when allocating um, medicine. Um.